Well, it's been a month and a half since a school bus crash severely injured several students and the bus driver in McGoffin County. Today, an attorney filed a lawsuit against that driver and the local Board of Education, accusing them of negligence in the crash. LEX 18's Sean Moody has that story. Bus 2030 was carrying 18 students and a driver when it crashed over an embankment along Route 40 last month. When I first saw the scene, I was horrified to realize that a bus had gone over that. Attorney Billy Johnson represents the families of two students on the bus that day. They're recovering from their injuries. They both have uh, brain injuries. Uh, one of the little girls has skull fractures. She had brain bleeds. Uh, she was on a ventilator for almost a week. Today, Johnson filed a lawsuit claiming the McGoffin County Board of Education and the bus driver, Wanda Bailey, were negligent. The lawsuit seeks compensation for pain and suffering, impairment of their ability to earn money, and medical expenses. School buses should not run off the road and go over embankments and end up on their tops. You should never see the type of injuries, the severity of these injuries with children. Johnson said the two students he represents have been released from the hospital but have not yet returned to school. This afternoon, an attorney representing the McGoffin County Board of Education released a statement saying in part, quote, I assume that multiple lawsuits will be filed that allege negligence on the part of almost anyone attached to the school system. The McGoffin County school system maintains that it properly trains, monitors, tests, and oversees all its employees, including bus drivers. This bus crash was a devastating accident and was an extremely unfortunate event that was beyond the control of the McGoffin County School Board, end quote. Johnson says there is a long way to go to resolve the case. This, is, this was a catastrophic wreck that involved many, many children. These types of wrecks involve, you know, the entire community. Eastern Kentucky is one big community, so it affects us all. So we've obviously got a tremendous interest in this case in getting to the bottom of what happened. That was Sean Moody reporting. LEX 18 has reached out to an attorney representing the bus driver, but we have not heard back.